With a reflection problem, there is an easy rule for this. Whichever axis we're reflecting over, in this case, it is going to be the x-axis. Whichever axis we're reflecting over, that value is not going to change. So, for example, we're looking for point J. Point J is at negative 3. negative 3, 8. The new point is going to still be at negative 3 because we're flipping over the x-axis. So it's still going to be at negative 3, but the other value, the y value, is going to go opposite. So it'll be at negative 3, negative 8 now instead of negative 3, 8. And so again, the value that is the axis that we're flipping over that value doesn't change the value that changes is the opposite one so just a quick update on that if we were going to flip over the y-axis if we we're going to flip over the y-axis say I had this point M the y value wouldn't change it would still be at 6 but the x value which is now right now negative 1 would become positive 1